The Deltaplex, one of West Michigan's largest entertainment venues for seven decades, will close down this summer. The president of the Deltaplex confirmed that information in a statement released earlier today. The closing will leave the NBA G League's Grand Rapids Gold basketball team without a home. 13 on your side's Justin Bachman is live outside the Deltaplex with reaction from the team's president and the mayor of Walker. Justin. Good evening, Juliet. The good thing, the good news from Mayor of Walker Gary Carey is that this building won't be sitting vacant. He says that the new owners, the Visser brothers, are right down the road, just a mile away. There's probably going to be a bit of uh, element of bittersweet there. Um, it's been a number of things over the years. We've had presidents there, vice presidents. Um, you know, we've had the Grand Rapids Owls play out of there for a number of years. There's a lot of legacy. With all that legacy, the Delta Plex sold for five and a half million dollars. What come next is still undisclosed, but even if it isn't an event center, Mayor Carey says that's not necessarily a bad thing. What we don't want to have is a vacant building set. Um, and uh, right now with uh, people still getting back up to speed on the large uh, scale events, um, this might be whatever it ends up being, um, that next life might be the be next best thing for our community for that to evolve to. As for the Grand Rapids Gold, who called the Delta Plex home, team president Steve Jabara is reliving all the good memories before they find a new place to play. I think we had about six buzzer beaters in seven years and you know, those are always fun. Flint Tropics night and some other stuff, getting Ben Wallace involved with the franchise and having that introduction there. Um, and then obviously our first game when we just launched the team, uh, having a sold out crowd and uh, all that was, you know, I'll always remember that stuff. It was a lot of fun. Now practices and the off season will not be impacted because the team practices at Calvin College, but Jabara couldn't confirm or deny where the new location for the gold will be, but he did say to expect an announcement sometime in the next week and a half. Live in Walker, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side. And the Deltaplex had a different name when it opened in 1952. Back then it was known as Stadium Arena. It was home to a pair of minor league hockey teams, the Grand Rapids Rockets, and then later the Grand Rapids Owls. In the 1960s and 70s, it was home to Atlantic Mills Department Store. And when the Langlois family bought it and renovated the facility, it became known as the Deltaplex.